certain truth forsake thee, bind them about thy neck, write them upon the table of thine heart. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy way trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord, and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel, and marrow to thy bones. Honor the Lord with thy substance, and with the first fruits of all thy... If you, if you don't want a closer relationship with God, please don't watch this video. On the day that I made this video, my mom and I were talking about something that she and I don't agree on much at all. Pardon me if I burp. <coughs> well, well, when we were talking about it, I accidentally said, Mom, I don't give a shit about what we were talking about. Well, folks, I know I shouldn't have used that word, but folks, listen to me. First Thessalonians 5 says, pray without ceasing. James 5 says, confess your faults one to another and pray ye one for another. And John 14 is where Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments. And John 15 is where Jesus says, if we keep his commandments, we are his friends. Well, YouTube viewers, if we say something that we should not have says, said, because First Thessalonians 5 says, pray without ceasing, and because Proverbs 10 says, in a multitude of words there wanteth not sin, and because James 1 says, let every man be slow to speak and slow to wrath. And because James 1 also says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God who giveth to all men liberally. As long as you have faith. And because Romans 10 says, Faith cometh by hearing, hearing by God's word. Whenever you or I use a bad word, or use bad language that we should not use. Let that let that just encourage you to just get on your knees and read the Bible and just pray to only use words and language that God approves of, because also Proverbs three says. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. So let James 1 and Proverbs 3 and John chapters 14 and 15, let them tell you when or if you cuss or use bad language, you and myself. We need to be on our knees along with God, because like I told you, on the day that I made this video, my mom and I were talking about something that we we disagree on, and I said, Mom, I don't give a shit about what we were talking about, so I am just here to make this video to tell you, whenever something like that happens, Every time we can avoid discourage and prevent interruptions, we need to get along with God and ask him how to make sure that we don't use bad language anymore. I believe I'm also hearing the Lord say right now, whenever that happens, we need to pray for bad language to s stay away. 
So, so YouTube viewers, if this video helps you obey God and do what he wants, please let me know in the comments if this video also helps you get close to God and get a closer r relationship with him. Please let me know in the comments and please also like and share. But if you're not able to leave a comment, that is by pure accident. Thank you.